Campaign Monitor versus SendGrid. Now, this video is going to be a quick comparison. I'm going to show you basically everything that you need to know about these two email marketing tools, including what they are, the differences, the pricing, and overall, which of these tools is better for your business. So, if you are interested in potentially picking up one of these email marketing tools, then keep watching, as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about with both of these tools is the pricing. Now, <laughs> SendGrid is priced in quite a stupid way, and I don't know why email marketing tools do this, but it's very annoying. Uh, Campaign Monitor is priced how I think they should be. So, if I just do an example here, um, first of all, this is Campaign Monitor. So, with the unlimited version, which is the one that I recommend, and I will explain in a second, you basically pay for the amount of contacts that you have, and then you can send as many emails as you like to those contacts. Makes sense, right? That is how it should be done. And then SendGrid. They basically make you pay for how many emails you think you might send up front, and if you hit that, then you have to upgrade. So you basically have to factor in how many subscribers you have now, by how many emails you think you're going to send through the month, and then you have to factor in if there's going to be any new subscribers to your list and how many emails they will take. It's just terrible. It's really confusing. As I was saying, Campaign Monitor. So that is so that is why SendGrid isn't priced very well. Now, Campaign Monitor. Uh, let me go back and explain why we go for Unlimited over Basic. So just using this example once again of 5,000 subscribers, we can only send 25,000 emails per month. That means if I send five emails to 5,000 people, I've already used up all of the emails that I can send. It's terrible. So that is why we go for unlimited. Now, in terms of the actual pricing, comparing these against each other, man, <laughs> campaign monitor is so much more expensive. Like for example, let's just go here and say, you can basically send 200,000 emails for $89 a month. For the same price, you can get 5,000 emails on campaign monitor. Even if you send an email out every day of the month on here for 5,000 people, that's still only 150,000 emails. Like it's it's cheaper to go with SendGrid. Even if we bump this up, you can go to like 650,000 for $250, which for the same price, you can get 15,000 contacts. So SendGrid is cheaper. However, that is about where SendGrid ends in being better because when I was doing my research for this, uh, I came across something that you need to see. So first of all, Let's talk about Campaign Monitor. Click in, and boom. 4.6 stars out of 5. Fantastic. 74% 5 star reviews. Nothing concerning here. Beautiful. Send Grid. Not the same story, sadly. Send Grid. 1.2. 1.2. I don't even know how it's possible to get a score that bad. 76% 1 star reviews. And basically, every single person here is saying that they either took money and didn't refund them, or they just cancelled their account after they'd already paid. Disabled our account with no reason and would not reactivate. They overcharged me intentionally and were unresponsive when I queried it. Switched off my account without indication. Switched off my and suspended my email pretty much taking down my business. After you've paid your account gets suspended for no reason. Like this is all terrible. And this just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. It's really bad. So even though SendGrid is cheaper, after looking at this, um, yeah, it is just really not worth it. Uh, it looks like a really, really bad company. So that's what I would say. I would absolutely go with Campaign Monitor. I would not risk running getting my business shut down. I would not risk paying for something and then it being taken away. So I think that the best option by far is to go with Campaign Monitor. So that is Campaign Monitor versus SendGrid. Now, if you learned something from this video or if you found it valuable in some way, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.